Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 37, August 9th, 1981. Host, Eileen Bach. DNA sample, SB1970. Open! Good morning, Miss Kurtz. You look well, considering the circumstances. Are you rested? Hmm. Have you eaten? Your friends are dead, Miriam. Bartle Schink and all his navios, his Edelweiss pirates, executed for five counts of murder. Which has a trial. You must be proud. There was no need! They were scum! All of them! You hear me? All of you are scum! 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 <laughs> I see it so clearly now. She didn't break, did they? You have nothing! Quiet, girl! You don't have the artifact! If you did, you wouldn't be talking to me at all! Now you lay seat! I said, now you lay seat! Now you lay seat! Eileen, open your eyes. Can you hear me? Eileen, Eileen. Power's off. Get the position in here. Step aside, son. Eileen, talk to me. Can you open your eyes? Where? Oh, God. No spots. Notes towards a speech in honor of Dr. Eileen Bach's premature retirement. When I first learned of Dr. Bach's unfortunate accident, I couldn't help but feel a great sense of loss at... No. No, no. Hmm. Uh, Dr. Eileen Bach has and always will be a friend and colleague. When I first learned of her unfortunate accident, I was shocked, of course. To see any friend injured in such a way is deeply upsetting. And to further learn that her injuries were severe enough to force a premature conclusion to her brilliant career, well... I would not wish that fate on anyone. But, if there is any solace to be found in her accident, it may be this. That she was injured in service of her research. In service of work that she cherished most dearly. And it is thanks to her, it is due to her diligence, that some of the mysteries of genetic memory have been further illuminated. And while it is true that work on her project, the surrogate initiative, as she called it, has been temporarily halted, the copious amount of work she has done over the past three years has been incredibly valuable. So while her work has been suspended for the time being, her legacy will most certainly live on. Quiet, Joan! Quiet! 